Hi guys, my name is Rose. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I talk about fragrances, so if this is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to this channel and liking this video. Thank you so much. So today I want to talk to you about my top 10 favorite fragrances 2022 for the summer. So if this is something you're interested in, just keep on watching. Okay, let's jump right into it. So my first pick is Terracotta Le Parfum by Guerlain. This is a beautiful, beautiful white floral perfume. Uh, it's just gorgeous. Um, you get that uh, burst of jasmine in the opening and once it dries down a little bit, you get more of the ylang ylang. It has cherry flower. Um, after a while, you get a hint of a note of coconut, but I am not the, the biggest fan of notes of coconut in perfume. So in this one, I think it stays relatively subtle. It stays very elegant, very classy. It doesn't smell cheap because I think that can happen uh, when perfumes have coconut in it. And also it has a hint of vanilla in it as well. Um, so, but overall the main notes I smell in this one is jasmine, really jasmine, very jasmine forward, ylang ylang, yeah, a little bit of tiare flower and coconut, and very, very subtle vanilla. This is this perfume, basically. It's very, very beautiful, very appropriate for holidays on the beach, I think, um, whether this may be in southern Italy or on a tropical island, I think it would suit both occasions. Oh, I think it is so, so nice. I really can't imagine anyone disliking this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. But I would say you have to like jasmine to like this perfume. And you have to like those kind of beachy, slightly coconutty white florals um, to like this perfume. This is not a fresh perfume. This is a sweet, white floral, slightly coconutty vanilla perfume. This is how I would describe it. But I absolutely love it. So... So my second pick is Valentino Donna Rosa Verde. This is basically more or less the opposite of the first perfume. It is a very, very fresh, fruity perfume, citrusy, that is. Um, it's super fresh, super refreshing. It's exactly for those really, really hot summer days. Um, it has citrus, bergamot, and also it has a note of green tea. And to me, I always get that kind of lemon iced tea vibes with this perfume. It's super refreshing. Like, if you don't have a pool nearby, it's really hot, just spray this perfume because it does the job. It really refreshes you um, and, and energizes you, but also relaxes you. I really think it's that kind of perfume. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, sadly, it has been discontinued, but I have seen it quite a lot still online. It's, uh, it is still available, but if you're interested in this one, you might have to hurry up a little bit because I don't know when it will be sold out completely, but it's really, really worth a try if you like citrus, fresh, tea kind of perfumes um, that have that energizing vibe at the same time also spa kind of relaxation vibes. I think that's um, what this perfume combines very beautifully. It's also a very elegant perfume, but very um, casual. You can wear it every day, any day, in the hot days. So my next pick is Gucci Bloom Aqua di Fiori. It is the green one of this series. Sorry, it's not really focusing, but I don't know. It's just too sunny where I am. Um, so this one shares some of the similarities. If you know Gucci Bloom, it does share some of those base notes. But I would say this one is quite different compared to all the other ones of the range. And this one is for sure my favorite. It's absolutely beautiful. Maybe it's my favorite out of this list. I'm not sure. I changed my opinion a little bit, but... Um, this one is really, really my kind of perfume. It is a fresh floral perfume. Um, 
and the florals in this one are very naturalistic it's very authentic smelling if you like perfumes that have that uh, real authentic floral smell like a bouquet of flowers like a flower bush that kind of thing this is what you should go for um, because it really smells like a flower shop it really smells like this is the type of smell uh, that you get when you walk into a flower shop in my opinion it's um, a little bit aquatic as well a little bit watery and mostly you get uh, the the floral notes from um, yeah it, it's really I cannot even detect any specific flower in this so much it really smells like a mixture of uh, different flowers in the flower shop as well as the stems so you have a lot of greenery as well this is floral and green and a little bit aquatic as well and I think because it is very light it's very um, fresh so I think this is a really, really good pick for summer and I would probably even wear this in the winter because I love it so much. But it is quite light, so this is the downside with this one. Um, it is a little bit uh, too light for my taste, it doesn't last very long, but it is absolutely gorgeous and I would absolutely recommend it for the summer and yeah, it's very beautiful. So the next one on the list is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. And this is another discontinued perfume, actually. I don't know why I'm including so many discontinued. I didn't really think about it when I was making this video. Um, but this one, I saw this uh, in lots of places. It's also still like one of those perfumes that actually are still very popular, even though it's theoretically not available. But uh, yeah, like I said, you can really find it um, if you're interested. It's just that you cannot really um, smell it anywhere anymore unless you know somebody who can give you a sample or something. So keep that in mind. So Flora Botanica. Um, this perfume, I think, is really a very, very easy to wear kind of fragrance. So. Um, it is like the freshest scent that I own. It's super, super fresh, super clean. Um, this is, I think, what you want in those hot summer days. Um, and for me, this is more the type of scent you'd wear at home, um, at the office, or just, you know, well, you can wear it any day, but I think it's not the type of holiday scent. It's more that kind of fresh city scent, if that makes any sense. Um, for me anyway, it's the type of thing you'd wear at the office. Um, so this one is really a fresh out of the shower kind of smell. It's super, super clean. It's not citrusy though. It's rather a little bit green, a little bit floral, um, and just a really, really clean scent. It's like, I can't imagine anyone be bothered by this one. If you cannot bear any perfume, this is the perfume I think you should go for. Um, or if any, if you know anybody that doesn't wear perfume, they can try this perfume and I can imagine that they would really like it nevertheless because it's very, very inoffensive, very easy to wear. Um, yeah, so this is my pick for those type of occasions. So my next scent on the list is not actually technically a perfume, but rather a body spray. And it is by Lush and it's called Sakura. Excuse the bottle, it's it's traveled around a little bit, so it doesn't look amazing. And actually, most of it ran out, so... Oh, this is another one of those super, super fresh perfumes, or body sprays, if you will. Um, it is, in the beginning, you get a burst of fresh citrus, super refreshing, super, super nice. It also has a scent of kind of clean washing to me. It's also a very, very clean, clean scent. Clean and citrus, I think, are the main notes, like clean washing and citrus. Um, it does have some floral notes. I think it has mimosa and jasmine in here. But it's very, it's very, very clean. Like if you'd imagine flowers, you would imagine them bright white, freshly washed with some citrus on top. It is not sweet, 
I would say it's pretty much not sweet at all, this fragrance. It is very crystal clear, a little bit aquatic as well, a little bit salty, I think. And just so, so nice. I think this is beautiful. This is actually unisex. So this is actually a unisex fragrance. So this can definitely be worn by anyone, I think, because it's not sweet. It's not too floral. Um, it's just very fresh. It's just really, really fresh. Um, so I really, really love this one. I think it's super nice for August um, and also on holiday or at home, especially in nature, I feel like, because it's a quite natural smelling perfume. Um, so I feel like this would work really well near the beach, walking around in a forest, maybe um, on a meadow, something like that. That's what I can imagine. Really beautiful. So next up, we have two perfumes by Rituals. And I will start with the Rose de Shiraz perfume. Um, this is very affordable and especially what I like about this brand that they do these little travel sizes so you can take them with you to travel and also it's just a really good way to try perfumes out basically without spending lots of money so that's what I really like about this brand and this particular one is a rose perfume as you can imagine by the name um, and it's very fresh it's not very sweet and it has a fruity note to it. Um, it has rhubarb in it and it is very tart smelling. And probably now that I'm saying it's rose and rhubarb, you might think of Delina. And are these two similar? Mm, not really. But I will say that if you like Delina, you may like this one because it does have the rose. It does have the tart rhubarb note in it. But this one is really not very sweet at all. It's almost not sweet at all. It's much more tart and floral, basically. So I imagine if you like Delina, but you find it much, much too sweet and you want something that's almost not sweet or very, very subtly sweet, you may like this one, but I wouldn't count on it. They are not that similar in my opinion. But I actually prefer this one over Delina because um, for me, I'm not that much of a very, very sweet kind of perfume girl. So this one for me is much more um, wearable. It's because it doesn't bother you, basically. It's very, very inoffensive. It's very easy to wear. I think this is also like a any day, anytime kind of perfume. But I would say for the warmer months, for sure. But yeah, this is a very nice one. The second one from this brand that I have here in the travel size as well is the Soleil d'Or, also by Rituals. And this one is also a very, very fresh perfume. Um, it has a note of citrus. Um, I think it has bergamot and pear. I would say I smell mostly bergamot. Yeah, it really has a citrusy, fresh quality. It's aquatic and it's a little bit floral. It has lotus and freesia. So it's very, um, it's a very clean kind of scent, I think. It's fresh, citrus, clean, aquatic. Um, I think you could like this if you like uh, Dolce & Gabbana light blue, possibly. And generally, if you like airy, kind of aquatic, citrus type of scents, I think this is a very, very nice uh, fragrance. I can imagine this wearing a bikini, lying at the pool, you know, having a cocktail, just wearing something light and fresh, aquatic kind of thing. Uh, I think this would be very fitting and it's very, very affordable. So, um, yeah, this is one I would really recommend. So the next one I have, um, I don't have it in full size, but I have a decant of it, and it is Ylang and Gold by Anne Micallef. And this one has this really beautiful, beautiful um, bottle, but I don't own it currently anyway. Uh, and the juice is very, very beautiful because it has this gold trimmer in it. Um, so let me just spray this on my arm, why not? 
So this one, I feel like if you might, uh, if you like terracotta le parfum, I feel like if you like terracotta le parfum uh, by Guerlain, you will like this one as well. Uh, I think they are a little bit similar. They both have that kind of um, beachy, uh, tropical kind of a little bit coconutty vanilla white floral vibe. Uh, this one though is, as you can imagine, heavy on the alang. So this really has a lot of alang alang, and uh, that is, I think, really the main note in this one. It's quite strong. This one is also stronger than the terracotta, in my opinion. And it, if I would describe it, if you know the perfumes, uh, Vanilla by, by Kayali and Terracotta by Guerlain, this is almost like a mixture of both of these. This is uh, a white floral with some coconut and a strong note of vanilla. So this one, really, I would say it has like 50% for me what I smell as vanilla. So you'd have to like vanilla. And I think the vanilla really reminds me of the Kayali one. So if you like that one, I think you could really like this one as well. And I think this one is really good for a tropical island kind of uh, vacation um, or any, you know, vacation at the beach, basically. Um, I think this would be really suited for that. So next one I have is L'Occitane Terre de Lumière. And I have this in this little travel size as well. I actually have the full size, but I do uh, want to make an unboxing video maybe, so that's why I haven't unpacked it yet. And there's just the tiniest little bit amount left in here. So this one is also a really beautiful fragrance. I absolutely love it. It is a mainly a honey and lavender kind of fragrance. And I would say the honey note in this is the strongest. If I imagine a woman in a white dress with a sun hat, walking through flower fields, picking some lavender and eating some honey or something like that. Um, it has a natural kind of smell to me and it is very beautiful. And while it is very sweet actually, it's, it's a gourmand fragrance, um, but it still has that natural quality to it. It doesn't make it too annoying or too sticky or anything like that for me anyway. I think this is the type of gourmand you can wear in the summer and that is not bothering you. Even in the heat, I think this is totally wearable. And yeah, I just think it's so beautiful. It's a very comforting fragrance. I think this one, if you like Monger Alain, or maybe if you are thinking about um, a something that is a little bit more natural smelling and something that's a little bit lighter than uh, Mont Guerlain. Mont Guerlain, I don't, I'm always changing my way of pronouncing. Um, then uh, I think this could be something for you. Um, yeah. And then last but not least, my last pick of this video is Chanel Le Tendre Eau de Parfum. So this one I think is a really, really beautiful one. Um, it is fresh, floral, and powdery. So you have, in the beginning, you have a citrusy, fresh opening. Then it dries down to a kind of clean, floral, rosy type of scent. And after a while, it becomes more and more powdery. So you have um, that kind of baby powder note, in my opinion. So the main notes of this are citrus, floral, and baby powder and you have a subtle sweetness but it's not overwhelming it's very harmonic and i think this one to me it smells really like a cloud like a fluffy pink cloud really it's very beautiful very soft and tender and absolutely perfect for the summer because it is very delicate it's very um it's fresh it's a little bit sweet it's floral it's powdery so I think it is also a, a no-brainer, like a thing you can really pick at any time, any day, but especially in the warmer months. So I think this is one of those, um, you cannot go wrong with it type of fragrances. So I absolutely love this one as well. So yeah, these were my top 10 fragrances for the summer 2022. So yeah.
Thank you so much for watching and like the video if you liked it. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It would really help me out a lot. Thank you so much.